Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thanks for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So happy Friday to you guys, y'all. So I'm not dropping a video today, but today is Friday. So happy Friday to you guys. So uh, I came to the pet store, my favorite pet store, local fit, lo local fish store, all about fish. It's in Pleasant Hill, California. I keep telling you, if you're local and you haven't been here, you're missing out. And if you're not local, you need to come by here, check them out. So anyway, so I come here every two weeks, get my salt water, you know, for my 225, my 37 gallon, my quarantine systems, etc. But you know what? Every time I come here, you know what I have to do? I gotta look around. Who don't have to look around? You know, when we love something, we always wanna enjoy it. So even if we don't buy anything, we still wanna look around to enjoy it, see what they got, things like that. So looked around. They had some fish for me, y'all. <laughs> They had some fish for me. Oh man! So they had three fish for me this time. I bought um, I bought a Nassau tang. We've been wanting one of those for a while now. Nice size. We bought another coral beauty because the twin spot hogfish stressed it out. It died. So um, now that everybody's moved out that quarantine system, I could put that one back in the quarantine system by itself. And then we have a nicer trigger, a little bit bigger than the last one. Um, I know what you're thinking. What happened to the nitro trigger? You just made a video and you had them and you moved them into the 225. Well, honestly, guys, um, he disappeared. Um, I don't know what happened to him. I'm not sure if he's in hiding. Um, I haven't seen him since yesterday, but um, it's high chances that he he may have gotten eaten by somebody. I don't know. You know, I don't know why that why that would have happened. You know. Um, the eels, they only eat tilapia. They won't eat anything else, no matter what squid, um, octopus, shrimp, silver size. They won't touch anything but tilapia fillets. I, I don't even like that, but that's all they eat. Um, Hollywood, he's not killing anything. Um, and as far as Titus, Titus is gone. So, and nobody else is big enough. So I don't know, maybe he's in hiding. We'll find out if, if that's the case. Then, hey, I got two nicer triggers. Um, moving forward, when we get a bigger aquarium, there, 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 will be, there will be plenty of room for two nitro triggers. But uh, for now, we got another nitro trigger, y'all. We got a beautiful NASA tank. And we got another core beauty. So let me show you what these fish look like. And let's get to the house, because it's hot. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating and everything. It's hot. So let me show you. All right, all right. So I'm not going to pull them all the way out, but that right there is the core beauty. That's the NASA. I mean, that's the uh, Niger. And this big boy right here is the Nassau. I know you can't really see too good, but it is what it is. Let's get to the house and you have a better look at them. All right, guys, so we are now at the house. Clean both of these tanks. This one right here is looking a little cloudy because like I just said, I cleaned it. This one I cleaned as well. I left the algae on the back wall and also on that wall because I have that big internal filter over there. So. Anyway, other than that, clean, ready to go. So, I told you, we had some nice things. Look at this right here. Nassau tank. I'm hesitant to put this in the 20 gallon, but as you see the size of this guy, I cannot fit it inside the 10 gallon. So, unfortunately, it will have to go into that, uh, that 20 gallon right there with Titus. And you know why I don't want to put him in there. Titus is very aggressive. So that's the reason why I don't want to put him in there. Next, we have another Coral Beauty. This Coral Beauty is definitely going to go inside the 10 gallon because it's the only one that's going into the 37 gallon. It's peaceful. It should definitely be in a 10 gallon by itself. And I say by itself because we also have this Niger, but this Niger, little spider, but this Niger is going to go into the 225 with the rest of the guys. And they were in the same tank together, this Niger as well as this Nassau tank. So I'm gonna chance it. I'll put them both in the 20 gallon and watch closely see what Titus does if he becomes an issue his big self is going to go into the 10 gallon 
and then I'm gonna bring up Coral Beauty and put the Coral Beauty into here with this with the um with the other two guys and we'll work it like that. Maybe I should have set up another little 20 gallon quarantine tank down there below, but probably won't do that. Anyway, let's get these guys acclimated into quarantine tanks. All right, y'all, so we are done acclimating this Coral Beauty. We got a couple more minutes left on these two guys right here, but we're gonna get this one into this 10 gallon. Look at the colors on that. You see the greens and the blues? So beautiful, look at that. So beautiful. Now one of their call it the Coral Beauty, y'all. All right, so we got the Coral Beauty into her little 10 gallon quarantine tank. Hopefully she don't get any tank mates. And now, I think, uh, cross nice. your fingers for me, guys, because we're going to need it. Right, this little, this net right here is good for the Niger. Pretty. Mm-hmm. And then, I have to get a bigger net for the other one. Titus is still up under that uh, filter right there, stressed out. So, there's one. So beautiful. All right, so let me get this mess out the way. I have my girl give you guys a little montage with the water on the glass. I'll clean it off. guys so we're gonna get a little closer back gotta get a little closer back all right guys so we have our niger trigger down below looking a little stressed obviously new tank we have our nasal tank right here and we have titus right there so he hasn't acted like acted like a bully at all thus far so the verdict is not in yet, but um, if I end up moving any of these fish around, I will definitely let you guys know. I'll make sure I document it, and um, and we'll just go from there. But I thought that I thought our uh, Nassau tank was going to be extremely large in this twenty gallon, and and yeah, she's definitely kind of big in here but this is only for about 30 days this is just a quarantine tank just to make sure she's good she looks beautiful healthy nice in size don't look skinny at all nothing no kind of um scratches on her no kind of no kind of ick or nothing where she, she looks perfectly fine she's perfectly healthy but you still never know so i just want to make sure that i do go ahead and quarantine both of them and um, before we add them into our display tank, just like we did with the other ones. But um, yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why our Niger's so stressed out, but um, I'm sure he'll snap up out of it, snapping up out of it right now as we speak. Look at that, there we go, snap up out of that. But um, yep, there we go, good. All right, so anyway, look at those teeth. <laughs> did you see the little teeth? Little Dracula right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right all right guys so that that about wraps it up i didn't expect to make a video today it was supposed to be a water day but like i said when you look around you never know what they'll have for you 
And if you're like me, sometimes you can't help yourself. So these are the new additions. I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope you think that uh, that they will they will make a great addition to our um, two display tanks, a 37 gallon as well as a 225. Uh, we got to come up with some names for these guys. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button for sure. Hit that like button. Um, follow me on Instagram at the Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page at Fish Corner. And until next time, guys. Peace.